So just take anxiety, for instance. If you completely indulge in anxiety, you know what the stories bring up and then the, the limitations that you seem to experience. So anxiety can produce a lot of tension in the body, it can produce a lot of paranoid thoughts, it can produce a whole range of emotions, and it just leads to a whole distraction of, of data streams where we don't find an openness, where we don't find an okayness, we don't find an empowering way to live our lives and to empower others. You know, I know this because I've experienced a lot of anxiety in my life, and I know what happens when I either indulge in my anxiety, you know, it just created all those stories I mentioned, so feeling very limited and then always looking for a cure for my anxiety, or then I tried to replace it with the antidote so I wouldn't have anxiety, so that I could feel relief, freedom, and empowerment, or I would just try to avoid it totally. You know, avoiding it, like saying, oh, I can't get up and speak today because I'm so anxious, I need to go for a walk. You know, that's the actual avoidance of an afflictive thought, emotion, or sensation. So these, these three strategies, indulging, avoiding, or replacing, are what we engage in most of the time. And that's what creates all this belief that there's suffering due to the, the, the uh, appearance. So in this training, we take short moments of identifying open intelligence, and we let the data be as they are. So right now, if you have anxiety, just let it be as it is, without indulging, avoiding, or replacing. And we can do that for short moments with anything we experience. Even if it seems challenging, you can always rely on a short moment of emphasizing open intelligence rather than emphasizing the data. This is a very powerful practice. Because like I said, open intelligence and data are inseparable. They are one and the same. When we identify open intelligence, we see that it's unaffected. Just like the, the sky is unaffected by a meteor shower that goes through it, or if a supernova explodes. You see how space is unaffected by that appearance, by that circumstance open intelligence, your power to know, our power to know, what's looking, is unaffected by the whole constellation of thoughts, emotions, sensations. But it takes some time to, to see that at the basis, you know, to really see that we are unaffected by the appearances. It's going to take some practice to see that anxiety, for instance, really doesn't have a power of its own. That it's actually the beneficial power of open intelligence shining forth in whatever way it looks for you. When you start to let everything be as it is, you see there's great, a great opportunity, first and foremost, with afflictive states. Afflictive states is a great motivator to really do something about it. You know, that's what I initially was doing. I had so much afflictive, so many afflictive thoughts, emotions, sensations that I didn't want to feel them. So I was always indulging, avoiding, or replacing. And I came to the point where I realized that didn't work. You know, there was no amount of replacing that I could do to keep that anxiety away. There was no amount of indulging in it that would transform it into something positive. You know, there was just, it was futile. So that's great when you find that indulging, avoiding, and replacing does not work. And then your only other option is to let it be as it is. And to see that I have the power to take complete responsibility. Before I was just acting irresponsibly. Anxiety comes up and just being irresponsible about it. Being distracted, blaming, judging, criticizing, disempowering, being a victim. So you know, for me it was like the first short moment I took I could give up my striving to relax. I was always trying to relax. I just let everything be as it was and there was an instant relief, a soothing energy, even though I was still full of anxiety. You know, that's very powerful to see. Open intelligence inseparable from that anxiety and then you see the anxiety actually isn't, it's not such a, an enemy anymore.